we're highlighting the divisions in all of sports that are filled with sharks and others that are more like a goldfish bowl. I believe this is the weakest division out of all the uh, divisions out there. Division alignment isn't always fair in sports. Let's take a look at the five toughest divisions in sports right now, alongside with the five easiest. Hardest, American League East. Gotta think that no one celebrated harder than the entire AL East when Major League Baseball announced that they were expanding the playoff field to 12 teams beginning in 2022. Now why is that? Well, because this division has been ridiculously unfair since the mid-2000s. I mean, the Boston Red Sox and New York Yankees bought their way to annual playoff trips and World Series championships. The Toronto Blue Jays were highly competitive in the 2000s, but they had no way of outlasting the deep pocketed Red Sox or Yankees. And then the moneyballed Tampa Bay Rays squad emerged as a powerhouse out of nowhere in 2008 when they made a surprise trip to the World Series. And then before we knew it, the Baltimore Orioles were legit as well, having made the postseason in 2012, 2014, and 2016. Toronto finally broke through with back-to-back -back ALCS appearances in 2015 and 2016, with additional playoff appearances in 2020 and 2022. And with all that star power, this division figures to remain the best in the majors for many years to come. Easiest NFC South All four NFC South teams have enjoyed some success in the 21st century. Each of them has made at least one Super Bowl, with the New Orleans Saints winning it once and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers claiming it twice. But the division has been relatively weak for a while now. The New Orleans Saints won the division four years in a row from 2017 to 2020. The division only became tougher when Tom Brady joined the Bucs in 2020, leading them to a Super Bowl title as a wildcard team. The Bucs were the only playoff team from the division in 2021, but they've looked like a shell of their former selves in 2022. Meanwhile, the Saints are paying the price for pushing back their inevitable rebuild. The Falcons and Panthers are in the early stages of their own rebuilds, and neither will be a real contender for years to come. It could be a while until we see this division produce two playoff teams in the same year. And with the current state of it, seven to nine wins may be all it takes to take the NFC South crown over these next few years. Hardest Atlantic Division NBA so, one way of determining how good a division really is, is by looking at how many bad teams they have. And in the case of the NBA's Atlantic division, there appears to be literally none. The current headliner is the Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown-led Boston Celtics, who led the team to an unexpected Eastern Conference title in 2022, before ultimately falling short against the Golden State Warriors in the big dance. The honeymoon phase is over in Brooklyn, but the Nets are still entertaining with the superstar trio of Kevin Durant, Ben Simmons, and Kyrie Irving. The Scotty Barnes and Pascal Siakam-led Toronto Raptors have remained a force since losing Kawhi Leonard following their 2019 NBA championship run. They're good for 50 wins in a top 5 seed each year. Tom Thibodeau, RJ Barrett, and Julius Randle have made the New York Knicks relevant again, leading them to the number 4 seed in the 2020-21 season. No longer are James Dolan's Knicks the NBA's laughing stock. And though they're the epitome of underperforming in the postseason, let's not discount the Philadelphia 76ers. They will always have a chance with the elite trio of Joel Embiid, James Harden, and Tyrese Maxey. Don't be surprised if this division combines for multiple NBA championships over the next three to five years. Easiest Pacific Division NHL the Pacific Division, pre- and post-2013-14 realignment, was actually among the most brutal in all of sports. The three California teams, the Anaheim Ducks, Los Angeles Kings, and San Jose Sharks, were among the NHL's elite. But as the core of those three teams got older and older, inevitable rebuilds came along. Not that most other teams in this division took advantage of this turn of events. The Vancouver Canucks have been a laughingstock since 2014. The Edmonton Oilers and Calgary Flames are annual playoff contenders, but despite so much star power, both clubs have continuously underperformed in the postseason. Too early to read into the NHL's 32nd franchise and the Seattle Kraken, but we dare say it'll be a while until they're legitimate contenders. So who is the class of the Pacific? Well, that'd be the Vegas Golden Knights, who have been among the NHL's heavyweights since their inaugural 2017-18 season. They reached the conference finals in three of their first four seasons, and with a healthy Jack Eichel spearheading the offense, they are set to contend for plenty of Stanley Cup championships over the long haul. But other than Vegas, the rest of the Pacific is filled with playoff underachievers, rebuilding teams, and all-around mediocre clubs. That right there is a recipe for a weak division, and it sets Vegas up very nicely long-term. Hardest NFC East 
This feels kind of weird reading out because, well, the NFC East was far and away football's worst division from 2012 to 2020. But things have changed drastically since then. In 2021, the division produced two playoff teams in the NFC East, champion Dallas Cowboys and the wildcard Philadelphia Eagles. And perhaps no team in the NFC East is set up better to win now and over the next five years than the star-studded Eagles. Jalen Hurts, AJ Brown, Devontae Smith, and Dallas Goddard headline an explosive offense that also features two veteran all-pro offensive linemen in Jason Kelsey and Lane Johnson. The defense is no joke either, with Darius Slay, Fletcher Cox, CJ Gardner-Johnson, and Jordan Davis. Do not be surprised if Nick Sirianni wins multiple championships with this core, folks. The Cowboys, led by Dak Prescott, CD Lamb, Micah Parsons, and Trayvon Diggs, are annual playoff contenders. Love them or hate them, they will always be in the running for double-digit wins and a postseason berth. Brian Dable has breathed new life into a once-dysfunctional New York Giants. I mean, the man helped unlock Daniel Jones, and a healthy Saquon Barkley has made all the difference in the world for this group. The Washington Commanders are the weak link of the division, but, you know, they're not exactly awful. The Chase Young slash Jerron Payne slash Jonathan Allen led defense and the Terry McLaurin led offense keep this team in most of their games. I mean, they won seven games in each of Ron Rivera's first two years on the job after all. With four playoff contenders all residing in the division, it's safe to say that the NFC East is finally back to being one of the NFL's best. Easiest Southeast Division the Miami Heat have been the class of this division for a long time. They reached four straight NBA Finals with LeBron James from 2011 to 2014, winning it all in 2012 and 2013 seasons, of course. Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo led the group to the 2020 Finals, where they fell to LeBron James's Los Angeles Lakers in the Orlando bubble. It has been easy peasy for the Heat, because the division has been a joke for a long while. The Washington Wizards never went far with the John Wall-Bradley Beal tandem, the Orlando Orlando Magic are always in the running for the first overall pick, and the Charlotte Hornets have been completely irrelevant, even with Michael Jordan owning the team. The Atlanta Hawks are on the up again, with Trey Young leading the way, but bona fide title contenders? No, not yet. But the Hawks and Heat are well positioned to enjoy plenty of postseason appearances since they have three crappy division foes to beat up on. Hardest Atlantic Division NHL the Atlantic Division is home to the NHL's Tampa Bay Lightning, the league's model organization since 2015. You know, with four Stanley Cup Finals appearances over an eight-season span, not to mention back-to-back -back championships in 2020 and 2021. But it ain't just the Lightning who strike fear in that division. The star-studded Boston Bruins and Toronto Maple Leafs are also annual playoff teams who easily crack the 100-point mark these days. The Florida Panthers have emerged as a powerhouse under the star-studded core of Alexander Barkov and Aaron Ekblad, having won the President's Trophy in the 2021-22 season. Longtime bottom feeders like the Ottawa Senators, Detroit Red Wings, and Buffalo Sabres are finally on the up again after several years of landing high-end draft picks. Even the Montreal Canadiens, who reached the Cup Finals in 2021, are never exactly terrible. Once the Sens, Wings, and Sabres hit their strides, this division is going to be the ultimate nightmare for everyone involved. Just you watch. Easiest AL Central so, if you exclude the expanded playoff field for the 2020 season, then only once since 2015 has the AL Central had multiple playoff teams. Cleveland won the AL Central in 2017, and the Minnesota Twins were the second wildcard team. Cleveland, Mini, and the Chicago White Sox were all playoff teams in 2020, yet all three clubs went home in round one. The winner of the AL Central is rarely a threat to win it all. In fact, this division has produced only one World Series champion since 2006, and that was the 2015 Kansas City Royals. None of these teams are perennial World Series contenders. The White Sox unraveled in 2022, the last year of Tony La Russa's Hall of Fame career. Meanwhile, the Guardians basically qualify for the postseason just to lose to the Yankees or some other much better club. Yeah, this division has seen better days. Hardest? AFC North Once the NFL realigned its divisions in 2002, the AFC North has always featured at least one bona fide Super Bowl contender. Oftentimes, even two or three in a single year. The Pittsburgh Steelers won Super Bowls 40 and 43, and reached Super Bowl 45. The Baltimore Ravens played in the 2008, 2011, and 2012 AFC Championship games, and even won Super Bowl 47. After a half decade of irrelevance, the Cincinnati Bengals have returned to elite status under Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase, having made an unexpected run to 
Super Bowl 56 in the 2021 season. From 2004 to 2021, Pittsburgh didn't have a single losing season. The Ravens have been an annual contender under superstar QB Lamar Jackson. Even the Cleveland Browns are no longer a laughing stock with Miles Garrett and Nick Chubb leading the way. This division sent three teams to the playoffs in 2020 and two in 2021. In fact, all four teams won at least eight games in 2021. Think about that. There is no longer any awfulness in this division. Easiest. AFC South. Boy, has this division been mostly a joke since 2015. I mean, honestly, what can we say? From 2013 to 2021, AFC South Division winner won at least 12 games once. That was the Tennessee Titans in 2021. It usually takes just 9 or 10 wins to claim this division. The Titans have grown into the division's golden standard under Mike Vrabel, Ryan Tannehill, and Derrick Henry. Still, it's not as if they're on the level of other AFC heavyweights like the Buffalo Bills and Kansas City Chiefs. The Indianapolis Colts haven't been relevant since Andrew Luck's retirement in 2019. The Jacksonville Jaguars were a flash in the pan back in 2017, but have been a joke ever since. The Houston Texans are in the midst of a painful re build that isn't ending anytime soon. And so, the Titans team, devoid of star power, stands as the king of the division. They just have to gut out tight, low-scoring games to rack up the Ws and take home the AFC South. And it doesn't look like that'll change anytime soon. But which do you think is the hardest division in sports right now? And which one is the easiest? Join us in the comment section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea. Because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.